Well, guys, this this winter malarkey in December means I'm absolutely freezing. And no, don't worry, I'm not going to keep that <laughs> that hold on all episodes. Thought I'd just keep it on. Um, our first episode as official Burton Albion manager. Hello, if you are a Burton Albion fan out there, I'll be in charge of your club for hopefully the next three and a half seasons, which will be really, really good in this journey, man. Let's try and get them to the Premier League. Come on, boys. It's not been the best of starts, but we have had um, a victory in our most recent uh, fixture, which will hopefully lead to us improving in the league, because we certainly need to. Um, but apart from that, there's one other thing I want to say. I did release a video earlier today, probably around about 1 o'clock or something, about my updated Patreon. If you want to get involved, then there's links down in the description for donations and stuff. Don't feel like you have to, but if you want to get involved with it, support the channel and help us improve by getting uh, new things such as green screens, new microphones and stuff like that, then all the information is in that Patreon video that was released earlier today. Anyway, let's get into some Football Manager, shall we? Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 6 of Season 4 of The Journeyman with Burton Albion, our brand new team up in League 1. And as you can see, things aren't going too well because I can't even see us in League 1 on this table. I can see Matty's team. Matty, if you're watching, hello. And I know you are watching, you watch all my videos now, and I really, really appreciate that. You're up in 7th place, with a game in hand. We're bottom of the table. <laughs> it's not been a good start. It really hasn't been, but first of all, I'm going to tell you about our new signings. Uh, we've got Scott Carson coming in in January. I've got a new shiny face pack. Let me know what you think about that. If you want to see how to do that, I will have a video out on FM Scout in uh, the next couple of weeks, which will show you how to do it. Um, but Scott Carson, there he is, the old man himself. Four caps for England, he's been playing for Derby the last few years, and I think he's a Kraken signing. We needed a goalkeeper, and he's going to come in in January and hopefully solve that problem. Um, other signings that we've brought in, Chad Evans, we brought him in on a free transfer, a lot of controversy about him a few years ago, of course. 31 years old now, he's still good enough at this level, I think, he, he played a couple of years ago. He's been out of football for a year, but since he's come back, he's got an assist already, um, and he's certainly going to have to take more of a leading role, because we have had um, an injury and it's quite a serious one and one of our strikers. The other one we've brought in is Jack Rodwell. He's 29 years old. He's English. Still got a good few years left in him. He's he's still highly rated. Um, he's been at Sunderland for the last six seasons. He's done rubbish in the championship, but he came in last game in the cup and played a 7.8. So I'm, I'm hopeful about Jack Rodwell. Uh, so hopefully they'll be uh, good signings for us and we can, we can push on. And, uh, and do something good this year. Anyway, uh, the, the last few matches since the last episode, which was our 2-1 defeat to Scunthorpe, although I feel like we were unlucky in that game. Uh, we drew 2-2 with Northampton. We were 2-1 two, two, uh, up in this game. Marvin Sordell and Kevin Oliveira scoring there. But uh, they did peg us back towards the end of the game, and we drew 2-2. We then lost 1-0 to Portsmouth. It was anybody's game there. Uh, to be honest with you, and we were just on the receiving end of, of unluckiness. We then went out of the FA Cup in the first round, really disappointing performance against Bogna Regis. Oh, I was so disappointed. I, I wanted a bit of a cup run with uh, with Burton, and it, it would have been nice. And then we finished off the Checker Trade Trophy. We were already out of the competition, but we won 4-1 against Doncaster, who are in our league in fifth place. So that was a really encouraging performance, in my opinion. Grant Willett scoring, Liam Boyce, Jack Rodwell, and Marvin Sordell. And we were away from home. It was a terrific performance, and it gives us a lot of confidence going into the, the Peterborough United game today. Uh, and we'll also play Colchester. 
So, in the Skybet League 1, as I mentioned before, we are bottom of the table on 14 points. We're three points away from um, safety with Wigan um, and a whole 15 points off the playoffs. There's still plenty of time to go this season and we've performed great escapes before. This is going to be a huge job just coming in uh, to this mess, <laughs> if you like. But... Um, I'm, I'm hopeful. I am hopeful. Uh, squad dynamics looks like this. We've got a good dressing room atmosphere and the managerial support seems to be going up. The match cohesion is looking good as well. Let's have a look at the team for today then. We've got Daniel Grimshaw starting in goal. We've got Connor Roberts at right back with Willett and Viner in the centre because we're, we're struggling. Actually, we might put Nightingale in there instead. We'll put Nightingale in there. Uh, we've got Gaten Bong on the left-hand side as well, with Ross Doherty as our anchor man today. Greenwood and Rodwell as the central midfielders. I think I'm actually going to swap these two round, because I think we'll do a little bit better like that. Um, yeah, so we'll swap the full-backs round, uh, maybe put him on support, and that'll that'll hopefully help us out. So Greenwood uh, comes in for a start as a Mozilla. We're really, really struggling in the centre of the park. We've got a, a lot of wingers, so it, it is tempting us to change tactic, but we are going to stick with this for now. We're going to go with Sparrow uh, behind Chet Evans and Marvin Sordell up top. We've got a, a fairly strong bench, but as you can see, we've got a little bit of an injury crisis going on. Jamie Allen, Tom Naylor suspended, uh, Liam Boyce, Kevin Oliveira and Kevin Holt all injured. We really do need to uh, whack it out of them, if you like. But that probably won't help with the injury. Let's get into it. Um, it's our second home game in charge. The first one was literally the, the day after um, we took over. By the way, I'm going to break, break a rule I said I wouldn't break this year and, and drink. Sorry if I slurped. Sorry if you, you didn't like that. <laughs> but um, I needed a drink. Anyway. The media have been on your backs for ages. They don't seem to be listening to us at the moment, which is one of the problems. We come forward, we shake hands with the Peterborough United boss. I don't know who's in charge of them these days, but hopefully somebody not as good as us so we can get a, a victory today. Peterborough are top of the league, so this isn't going to be an easy game, but neither was the Doncaster game in the last episode. Uh, sorry, in the last fixed year, but we come out of that 4-1 away from home. So I'm hopeful today. Here's Greenwood. Now to Roberts. Roberts forward to Chad Evans. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty very early on. Only a minute gone. And Chad Evans is going to take the penalty. Can he get his first goal for the club? It really could be an important moment this. Chad Evans steps up. He takes it and he puts it in the back of the net. And it's 1-0. That's a brilliant penalty. Um, and an assist by Chad Evans as well. I wonder, if, I wonder if he'll get an assist. That would be a bit of a glitch, wouldn't it? No, he doesn't get the assist. That would have been funny. Um, but, well, there you go. 1-0 up within the first 10 minutes. Madison into the middle. Johnson now to Sheaf, and it's a good save by Grimshaw. Nottingham Forest up in the, the top two as well. So it, it is the, there's a lot of big hitters in this league. He has Bong down this left-hand side. We've moved him to attack, and he's already getting into those sort of positions that we like to see. So Adel, Madison now. Madison uh, Shabongo, or whatever his name is. Nightingale forward, although not forward enough. Here's Roberts. Forward to Chet Evans. Was he offside? I don't think so. Chet Evans forces a good save by Gazaniga. Um, but it's been a bit of an action-packed uh, start to this match, hasn't it? De Silva Lopez. I know he plays for Posh in real life, so they've definitely kept a couple of players... Four seasons in, he has Madison, forward to Mancian, uh, Roberts away, Evans, Oof. Mancian, and Grimshaw comes out, collect. Good stuff, that's what we like to see. Grimshaw away, he has Sordell, Sordell on the ball, Bong, Severa, now to Marvin Sordell, to Chet Evans, oh, ho, ho, ho. that was such a big chance, that was huge. And it should have been 2-0. Um, will we regret that? <clears throat> that is the question. I'm going to go a little bit more expressive here. And we're going to try and push on a little bit. Because I think we're we're in the ascendancy. We're on top in this game. It would be nice if, we're, if we could go and get a second. 
Um, although we are going to come straight into half time. Um, that, that, that should be fine. Um, so 1 0. I'm very, very happy with that. We'll say. Well, calmly, don't get complacent out there. And we'll get into the second half. So they've made a couple of substitutions already, which is worrying. <laughs> um, hopefully that doesn't mean they're going to come back into this match. Uh, but if we can hold on to this, it really would be a big result. Taylor away. Here's Hebben, or Hepburn Murphy. Good tackle by Willett. Willett gets it away. Forward to Chad Evans, who loses it. Now here's Shudipo. Shudipo on the ball. Into the middle, Nightingale away. Greenwood. Oh, he loses it. Here's Johnson. A Heb. Oh, that was all caused by Greenwood. Having the youngster in the middle of the park really isn't ideal, to be honest with you, but there's nothing much more we can do at this stage. Um, yeah, that was just all caused by him, and then a nice little movement, and a better goalkeeper may have done better, but. That's just what we have to deal with at the moment, and it's one all, and it's start. Oh, Greenwood's injured. <laughs> as bad as he's played, I don't want to. I don't want to wish injury upon him. We're gonna have to move Sparrow back uh, and put him as an advanced player maker. Um, what do we do here? Maybe move Sordell in behind the strikers and bring on Isaac Buckley Ricketts. Up front, I think that's what we do. Here's Sparrow into the middle. Rodwell, it's in. It might be offside. No, it was just a deflection. Rodwell has scored, and it's 2 1. Jack Rodwell, what a start he's had. He scored in the last game as well. Um, yeah, that's just terrible goalkeeping from Gazinga. Um, but we're 2 1 up. That's what we're talking about. Right then, time for a change. Let's bring on. Um, well, this is the problem, isn't it? Um, he can play on the right. Let's let's just change this up a little bit and do that. Probably going to regret doing that, let's be honest. Nightingale, Bong, Rodwell, Longridge. Gets that forward to Ched Evans. This is a chance for Ched. Just wide again. Going to clear the balls to the flanks. Dribble less. Drop deeper. We're going to go defensive as well. Going to tell the team to tighten up a bit. Here's Longridge with the corner into the middle. Here's Doherty, Rodwell, Doherty, <laughs> Buckley Ricketts, Buckley Ricketts again. Oh, he's lost it. And again, again, this could be a mistake that leads to a goal. But that was terrible finishing from their player. McLaughlin, I think that was. Here's Longridge, Doherty, Longridge again. Oh, what was that? What was that? Hepburn Murphy, De Silva Lopez. Oh, that was just terrible. And more points lost because we just have an inability to to defend and not make mistakes. Um, I can't believe that. Um. I want to try and win this game. I know it's it's Peter Brand, the top of the league. We should be happy with the draw, but we really need to start getting points on the board and just leaving gaps like that. I mean, where's the left back? It's just terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Hepburn Murphy, bong away. Here's Longridge, gets it forward, now Chad Evans, Rodwell forward to Buckley Ricketts, what a chance, off the post, Evans puts it in the back of the net, it's 3-2, oh my word, that was 
a huge goal and I tell you what Christmas tree good work for us you know it really could a good work yeah, it was a lovely ball from Rodwell through to Buckley Ricketts he hit the hit the bar and then Chad Evans was there to pounce with the rebound and it is 3-2 oh two two and a half minutes left to hang on to what would be a huge victory for us two seconds there's the full time whistle and we have won 3-2 that's what we're talking about that is brilliant really really special lads well done and now we can go and play Colchester and hopefully get back to back victories right then guys here we are for the Colchester match and we definitely are getting into the Christmas theme because we're going with a Christmas tree everybody uh, it's not quite a Christmas tree but um, we're moving the wingers out wide uh, we're going for one striker uh, which is going to be uh, Chet Evans up front and hopefully things are going to go quite well. Um, Daniel Grimshaw starting goal. Connor Roberts um, and Gaten Bong going to be attacking full backs. And hopefully um, overlapping with these boys up top. Willett and Nightingale will be our centre halves. Ross Doherty is going to be our anchor man with Neil and Rodwell in the midfield. And Buckley Ricketts, Sordell starting behind Chet Evans up front. We're going to be on a standard mentality. We're going to pretty much do everything the exact same <clears throat> and um yeah it, it's it's gonna be fun so it's a big risk changing tactics but if it works it works isn't that right so hopefully it'll work we beat peterborough uh in the last game as you guys see and it's been a little bit of time since i recorded that last segment i was on discord to my good friend tij go and check out his channel uh, which is on my homepage. Really is a wonderful YouTuber, and I know he'd really appreciate it. He's doing a, a road to League Two with Hedensford Town, which is is really really fun. So go and check that out if you haven't already. And you you're into the lower league management type stuff. Oh, for goodness sake! Craig Slater has just scored an absolute screamer, and it's one nil. Um, oh, jolly sailor there to James and then Slater a big deflection off one of the players and it's 1-0 um, and not a good start for us and we're not really making any chances <sighs> that's just over the bar we are Colchester, they're currently mid-table so where we would like to be to be quite honest, here's a corner Buckley Ricketts into the middle, here's Doherty now, Doherty in the middle it's Evans, he's got a touch on it and it's in and I don't know how Chad Evans scores his second goal, a uh, third goal, I think, of the episode, because he had that penalty, didn't he? <coughs> and it was a this time it was a complete fluke. Hey, well, actually, was it a fluke? It was it was a slide, um, a slide and a and a goal for him. It was actually quite a quite a nice finish from him in the end, but it looked from the the bird's eye view that it was a fluke. Penny now to Smodix, now to Sailor. To Smodix again. Dickinson makes it too. That was defensively very, very poor. But I don't know how we would have avoided that. I guess it's set pieces, isn't it? Just, I mean, look at the line. Just charge forward and then we drop back. And, oh, that was just horrific. Nobody was marking anybody. Oh, that was horrible. Anyway. Uh, we're going to push higher up here. I'm going to pump the ball into the box and we're going to be a bit more expressive and, and try and take control of this. So we're going to go control actually. Which, you know, could be seen as quite a risky thing to do, but I think it'll it'll do alright. Um, I think it's fair to say that the, the Christmas tree hasn't really worked. So let's switch back to our usual style of play. Um... We're gonna we're gonna bring on Ross McKenzie and also swap these two round. Naturally, no, that, that that works better that way. Um, and we are gonna pump the ball into the box. We're gonna be more expressive. Move those things on. We're gonna go control in the second half, and and hopefully the diamond will solidify us a little bit that's forward to Chet Evans that's a wonderful delivery but 
That was uh, unlucky for Chad Evans not to reach that. But Jack Rodwell, what a signing he's been so far. Penny, here's Slater. Slater on the ball now to Eastman. Can we get a good tackle in? Uh, it is a good tackle. And it's forward now to Sordell. Sordell, oh, it's a great tackle from McQueen. Unlucky there. Willett, now forward to McKenzie. That's wide to Naylor. Can he get it forward? Naylor to Sordell. To Rodwell. To McKenzie. What a chance. What a chance that was. Uh, we're actually going to attack f both full backs. Um, in the hope of trying to get something here. 55 minutes gone. I think it might be time for another change. But who do we bring on? Um, I think maybe Viner for him uh, put him on support instead I mean there's Sparrow Sordell's not having a good game is he so maybe he would swap McKenzie to go up front is McKenzie a striker no I don't know where he's meant to play maybe on the right hand side by the looks of that so we'll put Sparrow on and see how he does we'll stick him as a poacher and hopefully he can get a goal he has already missed a clear cut chance, but I'm hoping he can turn that around. We're going to demand more, and we're going to go attacking. And hopefully create some chances here. It doesn't look like we are. Um, I guess this is the next thing we try. We did this at Boston quite a lot when we were in trouble. Um, we've got nobody that can push forward. Um, <clears throat> shoot on sight. Go quite balanced. Let's go for it. We've got 15 minutes to try and get something out of this game. But we're just not creating chances. We're getting shots, just not anywhere near target. <laughs> um... Guess push them f further forward. This is the the options that we're faced with. Doherty goes into the midfield. We maybe move no. so he can be box to box. This is a crazy formation, but we've got we've got to go for it now. Dribble less. Let's do this. Three minutes to go. Just not even a hint of a chance <clears throat> since they scored the goal. Which is annoying. And there you have it. Mackenzie might feel he could have won the game. I, f f I don't know. Like I think that's a bit harsh. But uh, no. It was, it was a bit of a disappointing performance in the end. I think we can um, say that the Christmas tree isn't the one to go for. Uh, and we'll go back to the diamond for the next game against Wigan. I think that'll be that'll be good. I think we played better with the diamond. We were certainly more solid defensively, and I think that's where we need to 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 be looking. Um, Ross uh, Ross Doherty getting man of the match, which is really good to see. I was a bit worried about him before we started things off, but he had a good game and uh, he looks good. So uh, when this eventually loads, we'll have a look. Uh, when we're going to come back hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far if you are make sure you leave a big like if we could have 20 likes on this video that would be amazing and let me know what you think about the thumbnail it's definitely eye-catching because of, of the colors of uh of Bert and albion but um right uh dynamics isn't looking good when we're going to come back <coughs> that is the question i tell you what i think we might come back um for the forest game yeah because I've got half an eye on this Blackburn game because I'm gonna have to do that for Matty so uh, we might do these two matches and then we'll do Walsall 
and Blackburn in the episode after that, and we'll hopefully have Scott Carson in goal by then. So you can expect to see me in charge of uh, Nottingham Forest in the next match. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like down below. It really, really does help out the channel, and it means a lot to me as well. As I said about the Patreon, go and check it out. There's a link down in the description. There's plenty of stuff on there to cast your eyes over. And if you feel like you want to donate, it would really be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.